Hi, I'm Todd from My View From The Woods. I was tagged by John from Backyard Eden to do a collaboration video on why I like to garden. So let's get started with my five questions. The first question is, why do I like to garden? I like to garden because I like to grow my own food. I, I got out of the habit of doing it. I was in a situation before where I never really had to. I always had fresh vegetables and produce around me. Um, but now that I'm not, I'm just sick and tired of the grocery, for, grocery store foods. I just, I just want to grow my own food. And this is sort of a practice. You can see I'm in an indoor apartment garden here. Um, but this is sort of the pre-practice before I do purchase my own land and, and start my own garden. So it's just sort of to get back in the hang of it. Plus I think it's a fun activity. It's something I can do in the winter when it's dreary outside. I can plant some seeds. I can see some growth. There's nothing more amazing than watching a seed grow up from, a, from your seed until it germinates, until it leaves out, until it matures. I think it's just a great process to watch. Um, I, I, I've just always sort of enjoyed that kind of thing. So that's the main reason why I garden. I just like the whole process of it. The second question is, why do I YouTube? This is sort of a complicated question. Um, mainly what I'm doing is documenting my journey of going from this apartment to purchasing my land to starting my homestead. If nothing else, it's good practice. I think that um, I, I am in, in the media world and the world is calling to video. So it's good practice to start um, doing YouTube videos to begin with. So one, it's a practice. I know I'm not gonna have that many viewers to begin with, so it's really good to get going with this. I wanted to see how the YouTube process worked. All my other videos are on Vimeo. Um, no one can really see them there on my membership websites. So this is sort of a new platform for me to work with. And in reality, it, it, it's to one, document my journey. Two, practice to do video, to get more comfortable in front of the cameras. And three, I just wanted to work with a new platform. The third question is, how long have I been gardening? Um, I, was, I was a gardener when I was much younger, when I was probably 8 to 12, maybe 13. Um, I always had a little garden. Um, I grew just the basics. It was just, again, it was something that I enjoyed and it was fun. Then from 13 to, uh, I believe, 29, maybe 30 years old, I worked and ran a large farm market and plant nursery. So we always had fresh vegetables and fruits around. So I never really needed to grow any. I always told people how to grow them. I knew how to grow them. We had our own farm. We grew the less labor intensive foods, but I'd always go to the other farms and see how everything else was grown. I talked to the growers. Same when I got into nursery stock, I did the same thing. I, I just you know, went right to the growers, started asking questions and uh, was pretty much self-taught. So at the farm market, I could eat whatever I wanted to eat, and very rarely did I eat a whole thing, right? We usually picked up something that was spoiled or half rotten, and we ate the good part of it and threw the rest away. So I didn't really need to garden as I grew up, but I always had fresh fruits and vegetables around. Now that um, I'm a geologist, I'm working here or living here in this apartment, I miss the freshness, right? What we get in the grocery stores, even the homegrown produce that's brought into the stores, it's still been there five or six days. It's not fresh out of the fields like, like I've been used to. And you can definitely see the quality difference. So um, how long have I been gardening? In reality, I've been working with gardening and gardeners and growers for all, all my life. So probably 40 years at least um, since I was 13. So I'm a little bit different than a lot of people. Um, I did grow up in dairy country. Um, all my friends were dairy farmers. So I'm used to the whole process of farming. Um, from cows to pigs to chickens, um, not too many people. Some people had their own gardens. Most people just, um, you know, was raising corn and corn for silage for the cows and you know hay to put in the hay mow. Um, but with my work at the large farm market, I was always working with people putting in sets and growing seeds and talking to the people that are actually growing the sets at the greenhouses. So I've really been gardening pretty much all my life. What do I grow? Well, right now I'm growing tomatoes. I have three varieties of tomatoes going. Um, I have a system set up. Um, I see a couple of mistakes with it. One, it's not big enough. Two, I really needed some artificial light on it once I put them into this uh, Floraflex system. I'm growing peppers. I'm not really a big bell pepper fan, but I am a 
fan of uh, jalapenos and some of the hot peppers that you can pickle. Um, I'm a big guac and salsa fan, so I'm growing jalapenos, uh, cherry bell peppers, uh, Hungarian hots, and, and yellow banana sweets. I'm also growing some herbs. I have some cilantro, I have some basil, and I do have some oregano growing that I'm going to plant in front of this large tomato plant right here. Um, besides that, I'm really getting into microgreens. I've added microgreens into my diet and I feel a whole lot better. I think they're very nutritious. They're fun to grow. They're quick. They turn over easy. You, you don't really get bored with them, right? You grow one variety in 14 days, you harvest it, you eat it up, you already have another different kind growing. So you just, I guess I get bored easy. So with the microgreens where I can rotate them out every two weeks, um, I think that's a great system for me and I think it really adds a lot of nutrition to my diet. So those are the plants I grow. You're going to see some tomatoes. You're going to see some peppers. You're going to see a big tomato in an earth pot. The other ones are in a hydroponic system. I've got a huge uh, three gallon uh, grow bag of cilantro. I have some basil here that I've planted in a three gallon grow pot that I've uh, already harvested off from. It's, it's growing again. I have some more peppers behind me. Oh, also strawberries. I've got um, five or six hanging baskets of strawberries that I'm going to grow for the apartment and I have a bunch of other little ones. I got 25 bare root plants that I'm going to give away. That's what you see up behind me mostly are uh, strawberries and some of the new tomatoes. I'm also growing salad greens. I forgot those. Um, they're fun too. Grow a flat of salad greens. You trim it. I get between four to six meals a large salad out of each tray. So the trays rotate. The ones, the one you're going to see here is on my second cutting. Um, the other one's still on the first cutting and it's starting to grow back. Um, I'm really enjoying those. Um, I'd rather eat salad fresh um, or lettuce fresh out of the garden, just pick a leaf and eat it. I'm not really big on prepping salads, but you do what you got to do to eat well. And the last question is, what are my favorite things to grow? Again, another tough question. Um, I like growing about anything I eat. Tomatoes. I love tomatoes. I'll eat them like an apple. Um, I love tomato sandwiches. I love BLTs. Um, the hot peppers, I like to put them in salsa and guacamole. Um, I'm not growing them right now, but I'd really like to grow green beans. I've always grown the bush green beans. I'd like to try to grow some of the pole green beans. Um, I just love eating those like right out of the garden fresh. Lettuces I talked about, I like to pick, I like the leaf lettuces where you can pick a leaf off here and eat it right in the garden. Uh, peas will be big, asparagus in the spring. Strawberries are like my favorite fruit. I'd eat strawberries. If I, I'm going to try to grow strawberries for as long as I can during the season for wherever I build my, my homestead. I just, I could eat strawberries every night. Um, I'm also a big fan of zucchini and summer squash. I like cooking them up with onions. I do have some green onions. I did mention them, but I do have some green onions growing over here. I think I'm on my third batch. Uh, they add a lot of zing to salads and, and even putting the, the the green part of the green onions um, in my salsas, it really adds a lot of flavor. So I grow onions, potatoes, I'm a big potato fan. I've never grown sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are one of my favorites. Um, I hear they're a little bit hard to grow in some places, so I'd like to give them a try. Um, really just the stuff I, I eat. Um, Probably I grow a ton of winter squash. That's another one of my favorite foods, the butternut especially. Um, Hubbard's also very good. I'm not too fond of acorn squash. I'd rather have butternut or the Hubbard. I like the, I like the darker meat squash, the winter squashes. I'd probably grow a few pumpkins. I do like to make pumpkin pies from scratch. I think that'd be fun. And um, that's really about it. You know, sweet corn. Sweet corn's all right. I think a lot of people overcook sweet corn. Uh, when we had the farm stand, we used to eat sweet corn you know, raw. If it's fresh, it's good raw. Young and raw, it's really tender. It's really good. Um, I like to put corn right into cold water and as soon as it starts boiling, you shut it off and take the corn out. And that's pretty much, most people leave it in the boiling water for a while and I think it overcooks. So sweet corn would be another uh, variety that I will grow. I guess I'll have to wait and see. I'm probably going to try a whole lot of things when I do get my homestead. See what works well, things I can can, uh, things I can preserve. Um, I, I really, I don't necessarily have a favorite, I just have a lot of things that I like. Well, that's my collaboration. I like to thank, again, John at Backyard Eden. I really appreciate him tagging me in these collaboration videos. I think it's a good way to help uh, grow the channel. Um, if you want to follow my journey, please subscribe. I, my website is myviewfromthewoods.com. I post a lot of other things onto that. I'm going to be posting, try to post twice a week on the website from now on. Um, I'll see if I can keep that up. 
Right now I've been enjoying the wonderful spring weather. Uh, being in central New York, we're used to the cold. So when the sun comes out, I'm sort of like a sun battery. I just sit out there and absorb all the sun's rays and uh, just draw energy from the sun. So, you know, once that wears off, once it gets a little bit hotter, then you know, I think I'll get right back to writing again. So please follow my journey, subscribe, comment. Please comment below. Um, tell me what your favorite things are. I'm not going to tag anyone in this. Uh, I'm not going to tag anyone to do a collaboration. I know this one's been running a while. Um, so I'm just going to, and a lot of the people that I follow have already done this um, video, answer these questions. So I'm not going to tag anyone. If you feel like uh, doing a video for these five questions, go ahead. Send me a link and I'll put it on the playlist. Thank you for listening. Enjoy your day. Please leave me a comment below. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button.